Bonsoir, bonsoir, my friends, Facebook friends, my friends, Instagram friends, bonsoir, before we start the demonstration, the cooking, the sauce presenting, I'd like to uh, let you know, as usual, that Facebook is so much better to watch me on, uh, better picture, bigger sand, better sand, uh, we try to get better every month we do this, we try to get better with uh, the equipment, and I think we're getting there slowly, so, uh, if you're on Instagram, just switch to uh, Facebook straight away. I promise you, you'll have a better uh, picture, better sound. And my French accent is my French accent is not as strong either, <laughs> on one or the other. Anyway, we are on the sauce tonight. No, we're not on the sauce. We're cooking with the sauce. We're going to use the mushroom sauce by Manu. Um, again, as usual, I'm here to show you how we can use the sauce in different ways. It is a pouring sauce. Uh, on your uh, protein usually, but you can also use it for all different recipes and tonight it's not different. Um, what else can we talk about? How many people are we, are we watching? Is watching? Yeah, we've got a few on Manu and uh, you need to say hi to a couple. Oh, cool. Say hi, hi couple. To, say hi, hey, <laughs> say hi to Heidi. Heidi! Heidi's from Ipswich from in Sweden? Queensland. No, oh. she's from Ipswich in okay. Queensland. Long way from Sweden. Yep. And <laughs> says, hello, our handsome Frenchman from mm. Ipswich. And he's from, she's from Ipswich. Yep. Now, hello, Manu from Grass Tree Beach in Queensland. So, hello, Brenda. Brenda, hi, darling, from and Queensland. And Michelle says, hello, Manu from Gosford. Gosford, Gosford. Anyone from Coffs Harbour? Because I was there. No, not Coffs Harbour. We have Namibia. Uh, oh. Is that s s Namibia? Is that Central Africa? Is it yeah, southern? I I southern, I think. Southern Africa. Okay. Surely you've been. Yeah, I've got, I've got Twice. friends all over Africa, my friend. Um, and yeah, welcome to everyone. Anyways. Uh, I don't think we said sauce in Africa quite yet. No, not yet. We yeah. haven't managed to break into but, the okay, African cool. continent. We've got Christine on the line though from, on the line. Um, <laughs> like, she's okay. from, on the line, showing my age. Um, Christine from New York City. 4 a.m. watching you on the, um, all right. Yeah. Suzanne from, uh, I believe the pronunciation is Fongarei in New Zealand. Fongarei. Yeah, and Patricia is What's upset. Up, I, say hi to Patricia, she's going to get upset. Pat, Patricia, how are you darling? Uh, she's from Sydney and she says hello. Oh, here we go. Alright, so uh, we are going to do something that uh, really takes me back to my childhood. Uh, I think it's something that my mom used to cook. Something that you could go, you know, like, I'm going to let you know something that the canteens in France at school are so much better than what you get, the crap you get in Australia. We get a three course meal every lunch from Monday to Friday. And usually, uh, I, if I remember correctly, on Friday we used to get roast chicken and chips. Um, but uh, what I'm doing today is uh, the old school vol au vent, which is that little beautiful uh, puff pastry case that I'm gonna fill it with a little bit of ham, mushroom, and herbs, and, and we're using the, the mushroom sauce. So something really straightforward tonight, uh, nothing complicated. It's kind of the French version of the Aussie pie but obviously much better because I'm making it. Um, so we're gonna start with puff pastry. Now I could have uh, show you how to make puff pastry, but we would have been here for a couple of hours. So uh, I buy puff pastry. There's only one good brand that I buy and I, I don't get sponsored by this brand, but it is the only brand that I buy because it's the only brand that is good enough for me to use. Um, it's called uh, Karem. Uh, Karem is a family business. Uh, it's puff pastry made with real butter, and it, it's a puff pastry that puffs, believe it or not. Uh, everything else that you buy on a supermarket is usually full of margarine, and it's not great quality, and it's, they, they've got really bad crap in it. Um, and now I'm going to stop, interrupt you there for a yes. second. We have a question yes. uh, on Instagram. Yes. So how did Carly? Carly, how you Carly's doing? obviously heard about a previous career slash talent that you have, and is encouraging you to juggle the eggs. Or it's, it'd be safer to do the, the, the lemons. It would be safer, to, but it wouldn't be as fun. It wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> yeah. So you only need to do the eggs. Yeah. Do, how many eggs do we have and how many do we need well, for the recipe tonight? <laughs> I, I, can, is, I, I mean, omelets would you, would you like to eat? Um, <laughs> or, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm going to do three eggs. And how come you can juggle, sir? Well, I used to be very good with juggling with women. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I decided to uh, 
try the fruits and vegetables and, and so on. Oh. Hey, come on. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. There you go, Kali. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the reason why Kanjagol is in my previous life, when I was a very young boy, I did uh, uh, went to a city school for about three years. Uh, entertaining was my first love, what I wanted to do for a living. And then I uh, got kicked out of school. I, could, I needed to get a real job. My dad took me on board. I became a chef instead. And funny enough, a few years later, I'm on TV. So it's kind of, you know, best of both worlds. OK, so Puff Pastry, let's talk about Puff. Uh, Karen, again, I don't work with Karen. I don't sponsor Karen. They don't pay me. I'm just letting you know, if you don't be, if you can't be better to make your own, this is the best. And if you're watching, Karen, we are available for uh, any opportunities that you might have. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We know. Yes. Uh, no, I've, I used to work. With, they, you, we, I used to use them for the restaurant. Anyway, so I'm going to do a little uh, puff pastry cases. Um, I've got uh, some cutters here. And you need two different sizes of cutters. And I'm going to need, I'm going to do, I'm going to do six of those vol au vent. OK, now the word vol au vent means uh, Flying in the wind, and the reason why it's, it's called that is because puff pastry is so light that if the wind was blowing, the little casing would actually flow, fly away. And the, the French are their poetry when it talks, comes to food, eh? Anyway, so I'm, <clears throat> we've got a, a camera on top which I like to uh, to deal with that right now. So I'm going to cut six uh, circle of this. Puff pastry. Well, then while you're cutting, say hi to Kate. Kate! Kate is from Alaska. She's you must watching be on freezing. Instagram. And Kate, yes, yeah, so, well, is it? Well, I don't know. What, it's probably coming into the warmer months there, right? It's probably still cold. Anyway, Kate would like to let you know she's currently watching series 11 of MKR. Yes. That was the, bef yeah, the, the, not the last one, but the one before last. I'm more interested in the next one. Yes. Oh, the next one. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? It? All right. Well, actually, uh, Karen, is that what Karen? Yes, Karen from Alaska. So you're watching 11. Uh, they say it's 12 after that. And then we had a couple of years of, uh, of break here in Australia because of COVID. Um, and it's coming back. I start filming in May, uh, uh, just to the first the beginning of May, first week of May. And it's going to go for about eight weeks. And then I think it comes on air here in Australia in about August. And I've got a new co-host, which is from uh, overseas, which is very exciting. So I've got a new friend to play with. Mm. And um, is he <laughs> Bob? <laughs> any hints, sir? Yeah, no, any hints? Well, um, there's, a, there's a ruby going around, they might be from Europe. They're from Europe, uh, cl closer to the, you know, like Eng English, English? English? Yeah, I'm gonna say English, uh, yeah. Uh, so you hate them already? Well, I'm not, too, I'm not too keen on the English people usually, but uh, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love the English. I just don't like their weather. It's just... Uh, All their food, right? All their food. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, similar to the Aussie food, isn't it? Let's right. keep moving, sir. Yeah, keep moving. Volovans okay. are blowing in the wind. Okay, so exactly. So volovan means blowing in the wind. And the reason why is because the puff pastry is so light. It does blow in the wind. So I've got a big uh, pastry cutter and I've got two uh, beautiful pieces of puff pastry. I've cut 12 rings so far and I'm going to go smaller. The recipe that you've got that I've put online uh, is for four people. Uh, there's six of us tonight. So for that reason, when I do a cooking demonstration, I cook for my people. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a small ring uh, on six of those. And you're going to understand why in a minute. I'll explain why. It's, it's going to make sense very quickly. But basically, you could get your kids to be doing that with you. Uh, it's a lot of fun. All right. So I think I'm done with this. I've got a tray here with greaseproof paper, and I'm going to put the full disc of pastry on the greaseproof paper. The greaseproof paper is there so it doesn't stick 
when it's cooked, because that could be an issue, like this. So that's the that's the that's the easy part of the recipe, by the way, or the or the more, or most difficult. It depends again what pastry you use. The, if you use a good quality pastry, you won't have any issues. Uh, if you start buying crap, then you're not going to get the result that I'm going to show you. The end result of. Manu, we're happy to take questions tonight, right? You're happy to uh, take questions about tonight's recipe, about uh, yourself, um, your career, uh, of course, what's going on with your sauce. Yes. Um, I hear some very exciting things going on with the sauce here. Apparently, I know one of the biggest complaints we've had over the, the months has doing this show on Thursdays has been that you have people outside of the East Coast have not been able to buy the sauce. Yes. And I understand it's very close to being rectified. So uh, here we go, people. We've got some great news. We've got two news. One bigger than the other so far because one's going to happen soon. The other one will happen a little later. But we've got. Basically, the sauce was sold in Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria for the last two and a half years. We now are able to promise you by May, big enough May, that the sauce will be in every single Woolworth around the country, which means South Australia and Western Australia, even our little cousin Tasmania, will have us. All right? So uh, get excited because you're going to be introduced to the best finishing sauce in Australia, which is made with fresh ingredients, no additive, no preservative, and no sugar, or added sugar, because there's some in the wine. Um, and you're going to eat healthy, good food, all right? Um, so uh, get excited. Uh, get, get, it's, it's going to be, uh, at the moment, it's in a midsection. So when you go and get your, your steak or your chicken or your lamb or etc etc, it's there. There's three little packs of sauce looking for you to just get the grab of and, and, and they're bring screaming them out, aren't they? They're yeah, screaming they're screaming. Yes. Goes, Please take me, take me. Okay, uh, if you look on the <laughs> or, if you look on the on the screen they're there, okay. But in May there's some shops who are spending a little bit more money and they will have a special fridge with masses in it and all the good stuff that is fresh. But don't worry about the other stuff, just buy my stuff, all right? Uh, anyway, and, and, and also the second news is, and that's for me is because I've been listening to you uh, from the beginning, and one of the biggest complaints we've had was we can't find them. So we've been screaming out about where they hang out, which is the midsection, tick the box. I've been screaming that for two years. But the, the other thing is, is we are changing the packaging in the next couple of months. Something uh, brighter, uh, more mature, and same price. So there we go. My new question from Instagram from Walshie. Walshie! Walshie. Um, she's saying, are you bringing out any other sauces, any flavors? And I'm just gonna add the second half of the question. And how should she tell Woolworths about that, that you should you need to do it? I'll send you, a, I'll send you, a, well, she, I'll send you an email of that guy you should speak to. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, we have another five. Uh, we've got French gravy, white sauce, lemon, rosemary, mustard, and I think we've got five sauces coming in the future. Now, what is the future? Hopefully it's the very near future, but again, we have to deal with uh, you know the supermarket and what they want and what they think they should need and so on. So we're working on it, but my dream is to have a, 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 a big range of sources uh, to, uh, to to you. So you know we, I can I, I want to do this forever. I want to sauce forever. I want to do recipes forever. I want to do lice forever. So many people wanting to buy your sauce in New Zealand, man. Seriously. Mate, that's your that's job. When are we going to sort the that's kiwis the out? Is that my job? I, I, All right. I thought you had I'm on it. Call. I'm you, on it. You lived, just, so John, John is the guy who speaks behind the camera, but he's the guy who resolves the, the, the question. And he's also my, uh, my business friend. And uh, he lived in New Zealand for a long time, and I thought he was going to... Uh, I'll sort that shit out, bro. Okay. Right. So I've got some uh, egg yolks here. You, you can do the egg wash and put a bit of milk in it, a bit, a bit of water in it. It's only yolk. I like to use just the yolk because you get a really deeper and shinier result and it sticks a lot more. So, as I said, I've got um, 
six full disc of puff pastry, of good quality puff pastry on a grease proof paper here. All right. And I'm just brushing them with egg yolk. We have a lively bunch watching you tonight, sir. Oh. We uh, have a lively bunch. Just let me finish this and I'll, I'll, uh, and then I've got this top that I'm putting, which is the same size ring that I've cut up twice with different size ring. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this in the oven and it's going to puff up because it's a double layer. The, the sides are going to puff, 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 and the center is going to puff, but because it's cut out, I'll be able to take this little one out as a little uh, hat that's going to come off. Oh, what am I doing here? See, this pastry is getting really, um, really soft. Do you know why? Because it's full of butter. Anyway, someone's going to get a bad one. Sorry. Ooh, look at that. What am I doing? And um, did you say we wanted to go puff, 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 puff? Okay, sorry. It's getting really warm in this kitchen. So, again, that's something I should have talked about when you work with puff pastry. Stop talking and stop uh, and stop stop um, John to ask me questions because that's what happens. Right. I'll shut no, up. Sir. No more questions. Sir. Don't interrupt. You know what? When what's his name was the changing the Sistine Chapel, yeah, exactly. no one interrupted him, right? That's right. You know Mike, what? I'm going to do, do a Will Smith on you in a minute. Ooh, you're going to bitch slap me. All right, just do me, uh, do me, give me a minute, give me a minute. See, so perfect pastry, pastry is made of flour, water, and butter, and that's what happens if, if you don't work quick enough, the butter starts melting. Anyway, I'm going to show you the best of all, the best of the six, and then the rest is for my friends watching me now, so it's okay. All right. So on top of that, I'm going to do um, more egg wash. So that's basically the, the first layer of egg wash is to stick the two layers of pastry together. The second uh, layer of egg wash is to make it nice and shiny and brown and gold and delicious. All right. So that's going to go in the oven at 200 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, see those two little things here? It's because I'm going to put a little over the top of it, which means if they want to puff up too quickly, too much, sometimes they want to go on the left, sometimes they want to the right, that's going to stop them to go too high, and it's going to stop them to go on the side. It's going to go straight up. 200 degrees in the oven, 15 minutes. Your time starts now so the filling of this uh, can be really anything you want um, I've got some beautiful beautiful ham uh, you can put chicken uh, you can put mushrooms you can put I've got a friend here who, love, who loves pumpkin and sweet potatoes so, uh, you could She's do that, that too <laughs> am I getting a the lamb then? And uh, yeah, good land, land. But anyway, so you put you protein of choice. Go ahead, um, vegetable of choice, herbs of choice, pastry. Puff, never put it in the bin. Just keep it, put it on top of each other, freeze it, and then you can use it again. All right. So we've got a beautiful ray of mushroom. We've got uh, some ham. I've got garlic and I've got shallots, and I've got. Uh, the mushroom sauce by menu. Now, in the recipe that I've put online, it says parsley, but I went to the shop today and I saw some beautiful French tarragon, uh, really pungent and, and full of flavor, so I thought I'd use that instead. All right, so first I've got some shallots, which I'm going to slice very thin. Uh, you can slice them, you can dice them, you can. You know, I mean, we're, we're in the Philippines tonight. Oh, we're Philippines. in, uh, we're in New York City. We're in Alaska. Malaysia. We're in Namibia. We're in Malaysia. See, I, we're in I the was... Shire, mate. We are everywhere. Oh, travel is back. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I, we were just talking about going on holidays yeah. and traveling around the world. We don't have to. Yeah. 
there's a certain there's an argument going on in the feed here about the fact that you're not making the pastry. So I think you need to just tell Bill why you're not making the pastry tonight, Manu. Oh, Bill. And also, can you add to that because lots of people want to know where to buy the said pastry. Okay. So uh, is that Bill? Bill. Because Bill wants to know yeah. why you're okay, being Bill. lazy and not making it. Come here. Uh, Bill, I'm going to explain to you why I'm not doing the puff pastry. Firstly, I can I can tell you that I've made puff pastry a million of times. When I was an apprentice, I had to do three kilos of puff pastry every single morning. But it takes two to three hours to make puff pastry. If you want to watch me and hear my French accent for two or three hours, sure. Or I can get on with the recipe and do the pastry another time. Alright, hopefully it takes care of that one. But you know, I can also put a puff pastry recipe online if you want. And, um, yeah. Great idea. Um, yeah, lots of people asking about the pastry. Um, lots of people wanting to buy the sauce in New Zealand. We've already talked about that. Um, lots of people, lots of proposals of marriage, which is good. Yeah, um, you see that? Good this is, this yeah. is, it's called a wedding ring, which means I can't get married with you. And, and we're going to double down on Heidi tonight. Say hi again to Heidi. Do what? We're going to double down on Heidi again. Double okay. down on Heidi? Because you know what? She buys She's your, back. She buys your sauces every week. They are a staple in her grocery shop. Thank you very much, darling. I much appreciate it. Heidi, we love you. Thank you, Heidi. All right, so I've got shallots. I've got garlic. Um, this is just to bring a little bit more flavor to uh, the ham and mushroom. But all of that is already in, in, in the patch as well. So. Um, I don't know if you've ever looked at the way those sauces are made, but real ingredients, real, real recipe. Uh, and what I'm going to do now, it's pretty much an extension of. So shallots, garlic, I've got beautiful ham here. Uh, don't buy sliced ham to do, to do this, just buy a piece of ham. Or ask your uh, deli to give you like a one centimeter slice of ham like this, because we want we want bites, so when that, that's going to go into uh, to the sauce um, and you really want to have some texture. So you don't want to buy the sliced ham, you just want big pieces of ham like this. So how to says, Manu? Says! Says is from Western Australia. Western Australia says, get excited, in May you will get my sauce in Woolies, brother. She's very excited that she's oh, going to be able to buy your, ma your, uh, your mushroom soup. I'll start again. So you're going to be able to buy your mushroom sauce in the Margaret River. Ah, uh, if there's a woolly there, you will be. Margaret River, beautiful part of the world, by it's the way. There's got to be a woolly in the Margaret River, surely. Yes. Uh, so I'm cutting this beautiful piece of ham, which is about a centimeter thick, uh, into cubes. Uh, you want to, as I say, you want to cook this with a bit of texture. All right. I know people are going to say, oh, you're using uh, cooked meat on the same chopping board that you cook in your vegetables. This is my house, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not feeding customers. I'm not going to kill anyone, just myself. So I got a mat. Mat! Manu meat, Hi, mat, mat meat, Manu. Um, any That's Asian, too much, you. <laughs> any Asian-inspired sauces coming? And maybe a collaboration with your lovely wife. Yes, that's that's one thing I was just going to talk about. Uh, we haven't we haven't gone there yet. I think I've got a lot more work to do with my range at the moment. Uh, when my range is sold uh, nationally and I start making money out of it, maybe I'll have a collab with my wife and we do some Asian sauce for sure. Uh, now mushrooms, you can use the the everyday uh, button mushrooms. Uh, you can use. Um, when I use the oyster mushrooms here, I'm going to use a mixture of mushrooms. Um, we've got bottom, we've got chestnut. Uh, cut them in all different um, pieces, so you've got different texture. I'm going to slice the white, and then I'm going to quarter the bran, and I'm going to tear away the oyster. So you've got different texture, different flavor in here. All right? I'm being told off here, Manu. By whom? Uh, this time, not by you, by Angela. Angela. She's saying, Oi, are Oi. you going to tell Manu that I love him and I've loved him from his ready, steady cook days? Oh. Long time Darling, that was a long time ago. I used to be young and svelte. I'm not that good anymore. Sorry. And um, T says, I'd love to see some 
of Clarissa's curry sauces. Sure. Uh, Clarissa, my wife, is definitely an amazing cook. Um, and for that reason, I don't actually cook at home because she cooks better than me. Um, but yeah, we, we should do a live. We should do it on the sauce with menu with Clarissa. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yes. What would you cook, do you think? What would I cook? Well, I would. <laughs> she would. She would cook. What would she cook? I don't know. She's 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 a, a woman of many talents. She can cook. Uh, What's your favorite dish she cooks though? She can cook Malaysian, Chinese, Sri Lankan, uh, uh, laksa. Uh, laksa is absolutely delicious. Uh, ota ota fried rice. What would you die for? Um, what else? Uh, uh, bakute, which is a beautiful pork a stew. I mean, it, it can on for Aileen's that. been trying to say hi for. She's made a few comments. Say hi to Aileen. Hey, Aileen. Um, she goes, Did you marry her for her cooking skills? <laughs> for all the skills, <laughs> but cooking was one of them, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, I've got olive oil going in the pot. Let's get serious on this. Uh, I'm going to throw in the shallots. And this is quite hot, so I'm gonna just gonna give them a little bit of golden color on top of that. All right, and then we're gonna go with the mushrooms. Woo. Again, button mushrooms, uh, chestnut mushrooms, oyster mushrooms. You can mushroom whatever you want. You can use one type. You can use all of them. I just wanna. I just went to the market and saw all of these the mushrooms, so they decided to go ahead with that. Um, I'm going to put a bit of salt, not too much, just just enough to season the mushrooms, but I don't want to put too much because when I put the sauce in, the sauce has got seasoning, you know, so you got to be careful, yeah? Question from Mario Manu. Mario or Mario? Mario. Mario. Oh, Mario. Uh, question is, what's the difference between a shallot and an onion? Well, there's size-wise, one is smaller than the other. So the shallot is, uh, is the shallot is a lot sweeter. It's got more flavor, uh, less harsh than an onion, I suppose. And Aileen thinks tomorrow's Daily Mail headline is going to be Manu's wife has skills. Lots of them. Lots of them. Lots of them, darling. Anyway, uh, mushrooms are, are going to cook slowly but surely, and they're also uh, losing uh, a bit of volume, so that's why I'm adding a little bit more. Like so. So, shallots, shallots, olive oil. I've just lost it. There you go. Mushrooms. Pastry is cooking slowly but surely. Do you want to look at that? Can you see through the door? Oh shit, what's that? Very good. Uh... Oh wow, you look good. So it's puffing twice because there's two layers. So you get a beautiful, uh, a beautiful height on those uh, puff pastry discs. Double puff pastry, oh. yum. All right, so we've got all different types of mushroom, cut different ways, different flavor, different texture. I'm going to add to this a bit of garlic because mushroom and garlic is marriage in heaven. All right. Into this, I'm going to add my, my ham. Okay. Beautiful ham. So, uh, Christmas ham, you, you know, if. Uh, in January, when you've got a bit of ham left over, just to cover the pies. Um, I'd be happy to give this to my, to my kids. They would love that. Uh, a, a nice little entree, a nice little lunch. You can even put them in a school, school, uh, school lunch. <laughs> Microwave it. Oh, we need to create a, 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 a video with with smell 
Because that's when I cook and I present to you, you can see what I'm doing. But you can't smell it, and it's it's so upsetting because it smells so good. But doesn't it, Matt? It does. It does, doesn't it? I'll get on that video with smell. Yes, thank you. All right. So it doesn't take long. Whoa! I just burned myself. I forget. I forget that when you cook, the heat just burns. <laughs> Question here, Manu. Quick, while you're cooking and burning, um, is is Colin on the next? season of MKR. Don't know. Uh, maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's been fired. But he, he may come back. He got fired. Je ne sais pas. Uh, I, I, you're asking me too many questions here, which I can't answer. Um, why don't you ask him? He may, he may tell you. All right. So I've got I repeat, a bit of olive oil. Oh, you know what I'm going to put in? <laughs> that may not be in a recipe, but I have to kind of add a little bit of je ne sais quoi, as we say in French, or just call it butter. Uh, butter always makes things taste better. Not butter, but better. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to cut, cut, cut. Just butter and mushrooms. Uh, I love that. It just makes it a little bit creamy, shiny. And flavor some. There you go. All right. I need a break. I'll get that. All right. So. We're nearly there with that. And we need, oh, look at this. Look at that. We have puffed Matt, out. Matt. See that little grid, Matt, Matt. griddle that I put on top? If the pastry went all the way to the top of it and it stops rising and it stops falling on the side and left or right, okay? It needs to be not golden, it needs to be brown, which means the pastry would be cooked. Because if you take them out now, it looks good on the outside, but the inside, it's still a little raw. So it's like, like raw pastry, you know, it's, it's just not pleasant to be honest with you. So, the, the, the feeling of my vol au vent, as we say in French, are pretty much ready. I'm just going to add. So you could do a white sauce, a bechamel, and put it in, and you'd be happy with. Or you can buy this and have double flavor. So you just need to tear up the, the top, and then you just empty in there. In the recipe, it says two, you know. I'm cooking for, the recipe says uh, uh, cooking for four people, so two packets. I'm keeping cooking for six, so I might need an extra one. But you know what the good thing is, is my fridge is always full of sauce. All right, right there we go. So basically, I'm, I'm saving your time to put wine in there, to put stock in there, to put cream in there to uh, add the expensive porcini mushrooms in there. So I'm, I'm giving you extra flavor in a pack, all right? And I've said before, it's not a packet sauce, it's a sauce in a packet. And I, ho I hope you've, you've heard that message before, because that message means a lot. It means that there's no crap in it, there's no powder, there's no preservatives, there's no stuff that you can keep it on the shelf for. Five years. You know. I knew I heard it was the only fresh finishing sauce in you, Australia. John, you heard right. It's the only, the, the only fresh um, um, sauce in Australia that you can pour on your every, every protein. You know, I, I, again, if you don't want to use the mushroom sauce, there's Madayan sauce, which goes really nice in there. You could also put the red wine sauce if you wanted to do it, but, which is not in Woolies, but it's at... Uh, a Delish Delivery, which is a great uh, delivery system where you can order all your food and vegetables and protein and some more goods. Um, and they've just gone to Queensland? Yes, oh yes, yes. Delish Delivery is now in, in Brisbane. Brisbane, Brisbane, you lucky you. Um, what are we, is that a prize? We're going to give away two of my new cookbooks tonight. You're costing me money. I'm costing you know? me money again. Now, what you have to do to win one of these fine cookbooks? We, you need to, to share uh, this video. You need to share this recipe, you need to, to, 
if you share it and you, we will pick your name and I'll send you a copy, a signed copy of uh, the, my latest book, which is two years old, three years old, four years old. But there's recipes, there's 50 recipes of mine and there's 50 recipes of my wife's. And if you bowl with French food or Italian food or Spanish food, there's a lot of Asian food in there, which is delicious. I think it's more than, than two or three years actually because my son is 17, my daughter is 7, and she's a baby here, so, yeah, I'm old. I, I was, I just turned 49 last weekend, by the way. Stop it. Yeah, I look pretty good for 49, I know, yeah. yeah. Mate, um, so yeah, to win one of Manu's fine seven-year-old cookbooks, no, two of Manu's fine cookbooks, you can please hit the share button below, look down, um, look below on Facebook, hit the share button, share it, and we will pick at random two people who have shared uh, tonight's broadcast and we'll contact them tomorrow and DM them and get your address to send you your books. All right, I've got some enoki mushrooms here. <clears throat> Beautiful. <coughs> Amazing mushrooms that I'm just gonna, uh, again, you don't have to do that. I'm just, I'm just being a chef. I'm just being a chef here. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, the volivons we got served up at school when I was a kid looked nothing like what's being made here. No, because I mean, because I'm trying to judge it up because, you know, I'm trying to make simple recipes to be sharing with you so you, <clears throat> you you try to cook them at home, but I can't stop. I go to the shop and I see all those beautiful mushrooms and instead of putting one in there, I've just put four different types of mushrooms. But you don't have to, as I said, you can just do one type of mushroom. You don't have to cut them all different ways. You can cut them one way if you want to. It, you don't have to judge it up. Now, in the recipe says chopped parsley. And so some beautiful tarragon. And tarragon is just one of those amazing herbs that is often left on the shelf. But it's got this beautiful anise flavor and anise perfume smell. Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's absolutely delicious to go with chicken. It's delicious to go with ham. Um, it go goes very well with seafood as well. Anyway, I'm going to... Excuse me. I'm gonna chop uh, some of this beautiful tarragon. Uh, I wish you could smell this. Frankly, this is ridiculously amazing. And then I'm gonna put it in there. So you've got again another layer of flavor. The parsley would have got you a little bit flavor, but more color. This is gonna give you a really. Effective. Oh, did I say the F word? I did. Parsley. I hope no I, I hope Nokis was watching me right now. <laughs> Okay, look at this. This is this is gorgeous. This is saucy. This is full of texture, beautiful different mushrooms. The tarragon just finishing it. And get in there, T Bone. Come on, get the camera get right up. Get in there, T Bone. Come on, get in here. Look, look. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's that's. Oh, this is gonna be mm, yum. Gorgeous. All right, let's uh, let's clean up. Uh, Manu, Angela has a quick question. Could she use sage instead? Yes, but sage is kind of really pungent, really perfume, really strong. So if you work and do that, just a few leaves, a few leaves would be good. Now, um, don't go anywhere. Just look at the pastry in here and look at it. I'm just going to get a little bit of uh, leaves from the fridge. I'll be back. Any questions? This is where we talk amongst ourselves, guys. It is. Yeah, we. Um, How are you doing, John? You good? Well, like, do the uh, Matt? Can I ask you a question? Do the enoki mushrooms add texture? Oh, Matt, Manu's back. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Matt. You're lucky. You're out of trouble, Matt. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh yes, I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you, you turned female to answer that question. Not French. <laughs> so are we? Is everyone happy? Are everyone's whinging, complaining? Every, no, no, no. We just had one of those, and I think he's he's gone, which is good. Um, Tarragon apparently says the same. It's easy to grow at home in a window box. Yes, I, I was actually talking to my team earlier on. I was I, there was a beautiful bunch of. Uh, uh, a target that was growing in a pot today and I'm like oh my god this is gorgeous and I picked it up and it didn't smell or taste like anything so I just said to let it go behind and anyway so I've got a bit of leaves uh, and I'm going to do a, a very easy quick dressing which you know 
I, don't, I really don't understand when people um, buy those dressing that are full of crap. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm after this sauce ranch, I'm going to come up with a beautiful range of dressings. I can see a range of dressings yeah, in your picture. Yeah, and yeah. you know why? Because, because I understand that you guys are, 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 are time poor, but dressings is, it can, it's few ingredients, usually herbs, a bit of acidity, a bit of oil, of great quality, and I think this is going to be my next project after this because um, what's his name? Paul Newman. Move over, brother. <laughs> All right. Move over. I mean, we've got a few people concerned about your puffs in the oven. Oh, no, no, look, <laughs> look. I told you it needs to be dark brown. You don't want it to be just. Gorgeous. I just wanted. They, they were nervous. They just wanted to, you know. People want they're, to know they're why. They're thinking about you, man. I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this before. Once or twice. Somebody did ask, sorry, I have a little place their name. Why when you open the oven they don't deflate? Um, it's a very good question. Firstly, this is an amazing oven. <laughs> very expensive. Is it German? Uh, no, it's uh, American. It's Wolf. Uh, but uh, I only put it for, for a few seconds and the, the heat doesn't, doesn't go down really quickly. And there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a big fan in there, brings the heat back up. Um, and, and when they're pretty much nearly cooked, they won't deflate anyway. They only deflate at the beginning of the puff. Uh, anyway, so I've got a bit of leaves in here because 12 by 3 battery, this is quite indulgent as well. Can you just zip it, people? I'm trying to work here. Um, we have a very lively bunch tonight. Yeah, a very lively bunch. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of salt uh, and pepper in this uh, salad mix. Uh, a squeeze of lemon because I don't want to detract from the flavor of the volant. I just want to add a little bit of freshness, crispiness to the dish. All right, because we do uh, we do a lot of this in France, by the way. When we have lunch, we usually have a smaller lunch, and we always have a bit of lettuce with our lunch. It just uh, cleans your palate a little bit, if you know what I mean. Anywho's, uh, what's going on, John? Is that people There's just... lots and lots of things going on, sir. Can we share? We're ha people are having arguments tonight. They're, they're having their common arguing on this. This is awesome. I'm going to do a Colleen fastage here. I'm going to use my hand. <laughs> um, there is lots of, lots of, there's lots of support for your range of um, fresh dressing, sir. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. There's, a bit, there's people saying, where are they, want to buy them, you know, get them out there. I you called know. my friend Peter at Woolies in the morning and now I'm him out. Alright. Robin, Robin's very excited about your dressings. Alright, so look at that. I'm going to take this off. Oh, the pasta radio, look at this. I'm going to bring this out. Wow. Look at this. Alright. There's nothing difficult about cooking when you use the best produce, the best stuff, and then you're using the best cook. <laughs> Me. Um, but look at this. Oh, that's a bit hard, too. Sorry. I'm sorry, Heidi. He's not going to juggle the volumes. Look at that. Look at that. That's how Denny looks. So at. I don't know if you remember, but the first disc of puff pastry was plain, the second one was cut out, and that's why now you've got the possibility to go around with a small knife and take out the center. So that's the top, but also the center. If you look at this, there's a lot of uncooked puff like this for the chef and it gives you mm. the space to fill the pastry with the beautiful ham and mushroom stuff here. All right, so. A lot of people want your book, man. A lot of people sharing this thing and arguing with each other about who's going to get the book. Manu, a question from Carly, I think, which she'd like to know. Do you have a favourite restaurant? She must be in Melbourne and she's asking, do you have a favourite restaurant that she should go to? Um, it's, it's always hard to put one restaurant on top of the list. But, as I said earlier on, it was my birthday last weekend and my wife and I went to a brand new restaurant in the MLC Tower in, uh, um, in Martin Place called Alia, A-A-L-I-A, -A, -A. Uh, a friend of mine, mine, sorry, um, Ibi, who used to be on my kitchen rules, but has always been a, a food lover, who's created an amazing set, setting. Uh, it's uh, basically um, Middle Eastern, but with a, a 
with history, but with modern uh, twist as well. And the chef, Paul Farag, is an absolutely amazing chef. And if you've got a couple of hundred dollars to spend, just go there, I promise you. So, uh, look, I'm just so, I'm so, I'm so happy with this. They look hot, man. Uh, they, look, they look hot, man, they, seriously. They Double are. buff, they look hot. Um, Manu, what about Melbourne? Give me a good restaurant in Melbourne. Uh, I haven't been in Melbourne since the last, you know, I haven't been in Melbourne for two years. Oh, um, um, uh, Sunda. 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 Is I think it's just opened a new one and I can't remember the name. But Sunda um, is is gonna uh, this mix of of Asian cuisine modernized to uh, to a level that it's absolutely amazing. Uh, he does the roti with uh, the uh, Vegemite. the Vegemite curry calls it and Ooh. shaved truffles over the top. Okay. Yeah, I want to be there right yeah, now. Yeah, Vegemite curry. Right. So mushrooms. Beautiful ham, mushroom sauce by Manu. Look at this, absolutely delicious. Be generous. Look at that. Woo! It's got texture, it's got flavor, it's got yumminess. It looks amazing. This is what John used to have at school when he was a kid. Mm, didn't look like that, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> a little different. Oh, you can put the hat back on if you want for presentation. And a little bit of lettuce on the side of it for, for a bit of freshness crispiness, a little bit of acidity. So, that looks outstanding, my friend. And, you know, it's simple, but I'm telling you what, if you cook this for your friends and family, you will be the king of the kitchen. Yeah. My friend, as they say in Australia, bon appétit. All right. Manu, we are, uh, say hi to Gerard. 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 Is that the guy I was cooking? Is that the roofing guy? No. Is that the guy I was cooking with last night? Yes, it, it is. was. Bonjour, Gerard. <laughs> and he said, a, you might have been in Coffs Harbour last night. Yes, yeah, so Gerard. And come with Gerard. Gerard did, did uh, basically became French for one night. He, he, he created an amazing menu that represented me. And we cooked for 180 people. Really? And he was smooth as. Gerard, let me tell you I that this Gerard. morning when I woke up to fly back to Sydney, um, the taxi that was supposed to pick me up never turned up, so I nearly missed my flight, but I made it safe. Gerard, thanks again for yesterday. You've done a great job, and thanks to, you, to, to your team as well. But Gerard, next year when I come back, we do a bottle of my friend. So guys, what we're going to do now is um, we're going to top up my new drink. Yes. Does it need to top up, my friend? Yes. It does. Okay, we'll get you another, have another one of those. Yes. All right. Thank you to Sunday Road from Kirawi for <laughs> providing tonight's... Uh, Fine drop of uh, Sunday Road. Sunday Road. There you go, Shire, mate. Mate. We're going to answer some questions, Manu. Mm. So you've, you've created this masterpiece. You've you've built the Sistine Chapel, and now we're going to ask everyone if they would like to ask you a question. What would they like to ask from Manu? Yes. Um, someone's asked already. I can't remember the name, but when does you're filming MKR soon? Yes. Um, when does MKR? When, when will it be played? On TV. Listen, as far as I understand, MKR will well, it, it will be uh, uh, filmed between May and June, and I think it may be airing two or three months after that. By the time it's been edited and cut, and you know all these uh, professional people making it beautiful and gorgeous, uh, I think probably August or September. Something. I have a question for everyone watching on Facebook, and we had some people that have hung around from the very start tonight. And I would like some idea. I would like you to share with Manu. You can influence now, right now. Um, what would you would like him to cook with the next cooking live session with Manu? Oh, what what would you, What would you like him to cook using one of his sauces, the sauce by Manu? Let us know. Comment below. Let and, us know. Um, let us know. Let us actually, know. Actually, you know what? I've had three. I've had three beers now, so we're going to give away another cookbook. <laughs> so we're going to give away three cookbooks. And the best idea for a recipe, if you post in the comments. He's going to get a signed Manu cookbook. There you go. Mm. How, how's that taste? Your sir? time starts now. <laughs> and I had a question earlier. Again, cannot remember the person's name, Manu, but they were asking about, like, obviously, do these live cooking things on Facebook, Instagram, across all the social platforms. And in you do another show called On the Source with Manu. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So, On the Source with Manu is uh, in two weeks' time from now? 
two it's weeks. actually three weeks. Three. Yeah, because my someone... videographer, who's behind the camera now, is going on a holiday, <laughs> Mr. All right? Two bones, wow. you, so, you, you let him go away. You, so the, yeah, no, he, he so the plan is, the, the, plan the, is, the, is the leash goes that far. T bone, where are you going? Down to Queensland. Okay, lucky everyone. Yeah. My parents are moving <laughs> out, so. Yeah. So uh, the plan is, is we're doing a, a cooking demo, and then two weeks later we do it on the sauce, and two weeks after that we do two cooking demo, and so on the whole year. So twice a month we're doing something live. Now the cooking demonstration speaks for itself as a cooking demo using the sauces. Uh, all, all, of all flavors um, and on the sauce with menu is it's kind of a it's kind of a, uh, a, a, a it's a live interview with either friends or uh, business friends sports people or celebrities and basically getting to their to, into their life into their story and, and uh, finding uh, finding out um, you know a, about them, I suppose, and just having fun and being on the source, which means uh, a little bit is involved. So between seven and eight, it's pretty PG, and after that, you know, the kids are in bed and we can go be crazy. Now, Have you got some good guests lined up? We've got some good guests lined up. Um, I don't know if you know that guy called um, um, Josh Mansour. His nickname is The Source. Uh, he's a uh, NRA player that is no. Uh, part of the uh, the Bannings, the Ramidos team, which is the team that I support. Um, and so we're on the source with the source. We're yeah. on the source with the source. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, is it next? No, no, no before next. that. In a couple of weeks. Yeah, because we've got a whole list of people coming. People just, you're going to love it. We've got Jason Roberts. Jason Roberts, a very talented chefs, ch chef, sorry, um, does a lot of great stuff on Instagram and Facebook as well. Uh, a very talented uh, pottery making man. He's got beautiful hands with the little sin, uh, the ghost scene together. So he had little hands? Uh, no, no, no hands. he's got beautiful oh, hands. Big hands. Big Sorry, hands. Yeah. Big. Okay. <laughs> well, you know like, what it's about strange intro. We're going to get a guy on. He's got little hands. We've got some really good ideas here, Manu, for, for your. I'm going to share some with you. Um, and everyone's talk, Everyone's got big hands. Now, Angela says she'd like duck. I did duck. A month yeah, ago. Last, yeah. yeah, but you know. Who gives the duck? <laughs> okay. Ben says he would like Scotch eggs and a sauce. I can do that. Scotch uh, egg is on. It's Maybe on. not next, but. Uh, I'm That's on like Donkey Kong, man. Yeah. yeah. And um, Nadine is suggesting, and I'm going to get my pronunciation correct, a cassoulet. A cassoulet. Oh. So, unfortunately, my darling Nadine, the cassoulet uh, it is a stew. Okay, with a, a, bean, a, stew, a bean stew with, with uh, confit duck and pork belly and so on. And it, it's, it, it makes its own sauce, so I can't really add a sauce to that. So it can't, can't happen. So Karen, Karen's got a great idea. I reckon Karen's got a good idea. Um, she's, it's plain, but so many people stuff up this particular, um, this particular meal. Steak with pepper sauce, fresh salad with French salad dressing. If that's why, if you want to know how to cook the perfect steak with the perfect peppercorn sauce, let me do that for you. Yeah, we've got, um, I know I'd like Manu to cook venison with his red wine sauce. Yes, yes. I can actually do venison with Grand Veneur. The Grand Veneur is a, is a, is a, a great classic uh, mm. sauce that you, uh, that you uh, um, serve with, with the venison, which I could mm. use in my peppercorn sauce with a little bit of red currant jelly in it, and <laughs> voila, delicious. We've got some good ones, man, seriously. You're gonna to have to choose, it's gonna be hard for you to choose who wins the book. Robin wants to see you do snapper. Says wants to see you do creme brulee. Robin, or you would you like to see my snapper? <laughs> <laughs> um, and Eileen says, why don't you teach us how to make beef wellington? Because Gordon Ramsay does it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's English, right? Okay. Um, Becca's got a great idea. She when goes, he's over, you can get him on. She's thinking, I think she likes parsnips. She goes, venison, red wine sauce with parsnip puree, roasted parsnips, crusted with pistachios and parsnip crisps. <coughs> when when am I coming done. for dinner, darling? That sounds good. <laughs> you cook, the, you cook the, all of that and I bring the sauce. Kate says, she's from America. I think this is Kate from Alaska. Says, forgive me, you're from America. I want to see some wings with sauce. Wings. I like Kate. I like wings. Kate a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Kate and I, Kate, we're going to get on well. Yeah. Um, lots of beef brisket with um, a, um, uh, like a pot roast. Sorry, beef brisket or a pot roast um, with the red wine sauce. Yeah, that, that's all. I mean, that's all sounds delicious. But uh, you know, if you want me to do brisket, are you going to be watching me for twelve hours? 
You know, I'm going to be drinking for 12 hours. It's going to be new. That would be very entertaining. Yeah. Um, so I heard of LJ. LJ. LJ says, can you make, and I'm going to stuff this up, so I apologize in advance for my pronunciation. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to move straight past the pronunciation. And I'm going to say, her description is, the rolled stuffed beef with the egg, ham, and spinach. I can't remember the French name. Does she write the French name? Yeah, it's like a... Brasciola? Oh, Brasciola. Oh, Brasciola. That's not French. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it sounds Italian. <laughs> it's Maltese. It's Maltese. Woo! It's Maltese. T-Bone's coming um, in. I left, I left my friend Matt to join, to join me. Malta's <laughs> not that far from France. Come on. Is it? It's not. I, I, Malta's the only place with only five surnames in the whole country, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what about a spicy sauce for your next sauce? No, because I mean, I mean, yeah, you know, I can create whatever you want me to create. Of course, I can. But the thing is, I want to keep, I, I want to keep the, the French label behind it. You know, that's that's my job. That's what I'm. That's what I'm on the planet for. You know, like you, you, you can ask someone else to do a spicy sauce. You know what I mean? You mean? Know I mean? You know I mean? Mm. Um, what I love is Facebook is doing automatic subtitles. So if people turn down their sound tonight. It because it automatically gives you subtitles. You can't turn it off. And between Facebook's American algorithm and your French accent, some of the stuff that you say and what they're saying is unbelievable. We have to watch it back tomorrow. Heidi says, what about a hamburger with the mushroom sauce combined? Because she has that in her house on a weekly basis, she said before. Weekly? Uh, we, we've done a couple of live with my friends from uh, Burger Heads. Uh, one burger that, that was sold in their shop was with uh, the peppercorn sauce. And the next one is actually that's coming in, in the next month or so is going to be a, a burger designed by by us together as well as a collaboration, and we use the Diane sauce this time. So you can buy the the box of basically the kit of burger. You get the buns, uh, you get uh, uh, the the burger patty, you get all the cheese, the da, 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 and the sauce, and then you cook it at home. Uh, We're doing another one soon. Yeah, that was what I said. Thanks, thanks, boss. Give up. All right, now now we've got plenty of talk, plenty of people. So, to Kathy. Kathy. Kathy, uh, Kathy, I know know Kathy. Kathy's son is from Bondi Rumba, makes fantastic margaritas. Yeah, we had him. We had him. him, 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 Um, She would like also the perfect. So many people, so simple, right? Like, how many people barbecue on the weekends? But stuff up the perfect steak, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's and you guys, you, the chefs look at it and you prod it and you you smell it and you seem to be able to deliver. We make love to it. Yeah, you make love to it. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet, but um, we might want to do that after nine o'clock. Now, but in all seriousness, like a couple of tips on cooking a great steak, sir. Um, be patient. You know, like I see a lot of. Uh, Men is in particular, uh, Aussie men, they love to just have the beer on one hand and the tongue on the other and then just, you know, put the barbecue on a high heat and just, just just leave it alone, you know, just put it on one, season it on both sides, on a medium heat barbecue, leave it on there for two, three minutes, flip it around for another two, three minutes, flip it around again for two, three minutes, flip it around for two, three minutes, and then rest it. And then put some uh, sauce by menu on top of that, and it, it, it's very easy. Stephanie's suggesting crepes with bechamel and ham. We've done that. So um, you've got to come back to uh, the uh, the website, the sauce, uh, the by menu. Dot co. Dot co. Dot co. Dot co. Dot co. Uh, Beck is ready to get on a plane now from Scotland and come and help you. <coughs> okay, come, darling. <laughs> Because in Scotland it's fucking freezing. <laughs> That's actually not bad. That's not bad. What about? There's a lot of calls for a rabbit. We got a rabbit, a rabbit cacciatore. Oh, and a, and a rabbit! rabbit. Stew. I would love to cook rabbit with mustard sauce. I'll, I'll do that with tagliatelle. And it's one thing that my mum used to make for me. And yeah, the rabbit. It's in the first cookbook. Yes. Yeah. If the roosters hadn't been hammered by the rabbits, I would have. <laughs> oh, I would have whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, but I'm just saying. No, that, you I know, don't want like, you to talk about the next match because. No, no, because you know what I mean. We got hammered as a roosters fan. Absolutely smashed up last weekend, and I'm still getting over it, obviously. And um, so we don't want to talk too much about rabbits tonight, guys. Moving right along, um, quail. We got a, a, oh uh, yes, yes, quail, fantastic, spatchcock quail. This, this uh, audience is quite... I like that. You yeah. know what? So let's give a cookbook to... Um, I can I make a decision now? Or? Yeah, you yeah. can be yeah. your boss, man. No, no, because 
I'm deciding, I'm deciding on the, the rabbit, the venison, or the quail. I'm gonna go the rabbit. Are you gonna, you're yes. always gonna go the rabbit. Yes, right? of course. You were never go gonna, the rabbit. You were never gonna choose the chicken, were you? No. You know. No. <laughs> Well, I'm going to put this back in the event for my friends. I think okay. it's uh, it's pretty much we we've, we've been doing this for an hour. Are we happy? Are we happy? Everyone's happy. Oh, well, everyone else is happy. No. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I, I was still going. I'm or? still getting over the rugby league, but <laughs> no. Seriously, what about our? Um, we have a, a call from what's the name Monsieur. here? Um, from Monsieur Pug. Um, Monsieur Pug. Yeah, Monsieur Plug. Pug. Sorry. <laughs> That's a whole different situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monsieur Park says he would like to have the tati flat. Tati flat. Tati flat doesn't need sauce because the cheese that melts on a potato and bacon is the sauce. And we may do a tati flat special because it is one of my favorite dishes to eat as well. What about Eileen's talking about? She's back to Jerusalem slash chicken. Um, what about a chicken cockavan? Yes, I could do. I could do a. I could do a variant of a cock oven using the red wine sauce. That would be fantastic. You know, we could use the spatchcock and make a spatchcock oven with my red wine sauce. A Let's do that. You know what? We do that next month from now. All right. So we have. Hang on. Who? Who? Okay. We've got. We have a winner here, right? Yes. Because. Um, Someone suggested the cock of vin. No, the cock of vin is... Uh, no, let's do yeah, but that led to the spatch cock of vin. Yeah. With so the we've red got the rabbit. The rabbit gets, gets the a book. Yeah. Yeah. And then the cock of vin gets a book as well. Okay. The spatch go. cock of vin. You've got them. All right. So we, we've, got, we've got some lineups of food. How do you win one of those fine cookbooks, Manu? Uh, you have to share uh, this video with all your mates. You have to share the recipe with all your mates. People love eating, people love cooking, whoever. And I will pick one of you, because that's how you say in Australia. Uh, and then you get a signed cookbook. Voila. Voila. Last questions, guys. We are going to hang around here for about another three or four minutes. If you've been watching tonight, and there has been some people that have been there from the very start tonight, uh, thank you to Heidi, thank you to Matt, um, thank you to Angela, uh, just a bunch of people who have been, and they've been sharing the shit out of this too because they really want to win. So tomorrow morning, you're going to have to go through the feed and pick a couple of people, maybe a couple of extra cookbooks, I think, tonight because they have been a fantastic Indeed. bunch. Thank For any last questions, guys, jump in. Um, Heidi's just reinforcing she must want a cookbook because she's saying, oh, um, I buy your sauces every week, Manu. Okay. And she said she's thrown out all of her other cookbooks if you sent hers. Well, all of Jamie Oliver's one? <laughs> yeah, Jamie Oliver went in the rubbish bin. Um, Gordon Ramsay in the trash. Uh, she's only having Manu me, cookbooks. Me, myself, and I. Uh, yeah, we, we, and she buys the sort of, surely. But last questions, guys, come on. If there's something you want to know right now from Manu that you always wanted to ask him, People wish your sauce was in Scotland, they wish it was in the Philippines, they wish it was in America especially. Um, Kate from America wanted you to cook moose. What's, and I've got to ask a question. If you were to cook a moose, and I don't know if you know how to cook a moose. I do. Um, I've got chocolate do. moose, raspberry moose. No, 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 moose. I think we mean the moose like... Mango moose. moose. Okay. So, you know, the, the moose that runs down the highway moose, right? Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, yeah the Christmassy moose. Have you seen the size of those things? I have. It wouldn't fit in your oven, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I know this. If you were to cook a moose, Kate, uh, for Kate from Alaska, Alaska. Who, who loves chicken wings, we have a kindred spirit here, Kate. Now, tell me, what was sauce would you put with the moose and why? I think the moose is probably very gamey and strong and tough and muscly and I probably have to use the peppercorn just to get the flavor of it. You know what I mean? Oh, if, oh no, you know what? No, the, the Diane. Because Diane used to use, used to be used for venison. So I think we do a Diane with moose. A Diane, sorry, Diane the moose? moose the, uh, yeah. Or moose the Diane. <laughs> I like that. Have you cooked with moose? Yeah, chocolate moose, vanilla moose. That's yeah. awesome. Strawberry Vanilla-mous, moose. Vanilla moose, strawberry yeah, moose. Yeah, you're not a dessert guy. Because people... People ask a lot of questions about dessert. You tend to kind of say you're not a dessert guy. Can you, no, because, can you walk us through that? Because when you have a restaurant and you've got a team in the kitchen, you've got a bunch of chefs and you've got pastry chefs. 
Chefs don't do pastry. They've, they've, got, they, they've got specialist people to do the pastry. Except when you do a, a vol au vent. Kate pastry. wants you to do the moose thing again. <laughs> 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 Guys, um, if you're watching tonight and you've enjoyed, like I tell you have because you've stuck around forever, which we really appreciate. I know many really appreciates you. Giving um, you guys giving him your time tonight. Uh, there's a little button somewhere around on your phone that says um, get notifications when Manu goes live. If you hit that button every time Manu goes live, either on the source or with one of his live cooks, you will get automatically notified that he is on. Yes. And you can jump on and say hi. And trust me, after tonight's commentary, which has been vigorous um, and forthright and awesome, um, we will remember you. We will remember you. And in three weeks from now, uh, we we'll do a, a Get On The So Sweet menu with Jason Roberts. Uh, and by then, we may have a new little studio we're working on as well. So the sound will be better, the place will look better, and we try to get professional there, I promise you. And before we go away, we're going to get the last question of the night to one of your... No, you've been saying that three times, you know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Are you calling me a liar? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, come on. you got a fresh beer there. Now, we have the last question I'm going to give to one of your amazing sellers of the sauce, which is a question from Delicious Deliveries. Okay, sure. They, Delicious Deliveries, which by the way, um, online supermarket delivering, where, where do they deliver from, Manu? From uh, Waga Waga to, no, sorry. <laughs> Wollongong. To, from Wollongong, to, from Sydney to, uh, from Wollongong yeah. to... From Wollongong to Newcastle. To Newcastle. In New South Wales. In and New now South they Wales. deliver to the... Brisbane, Brisbane and Sunshine Brisbane. Coast. And Sunshine Coast, isn't it? No, no sunshine taking, your, taking your sauce to Noosa. Noosa. Anyway, the question from the team at the list, they have a last question for tonight, maybe, is what is your favourite dish to cook at Easter and why? You don't cook, you just eat chocolate. <laughs> I just, I just. Easter eggs for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a little seven year old kid and I, I, I battle to get the chocolate before she gets it. Okay. Uh, so there's chocolate in the garden and just push it aside. Uh, usually Easter you have to eat fish if you read the Bible. Friday is good Friday. <laughs> If you, if you're, you're going to read the Bible and eat fish on Friday. <laughs> is that right? Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to split that in my diary. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, 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 do, I'll do a piece of snapper with, uh, with, yeah. uh, with some with some Diane sauce, actually. Yeah. What do we have? We snapper? Yeah, I don't know. Snapper. No? I, I don't snapper. know what I'm cooking this Easter, bro. But I'll speak, I'll speak to Delish. I will do a little... Uh, yeah. we, we, you and know, Delish and I will, will release a couple of menus to get some sauce on it. And one thing we're definitely not eating at Easter is rabbits, right? <laughs> well, actually, there's a brand, uh, really? which I won't mention, uh, a few years ago, who came up with a rabbit burger on Easter and oh. it just backfired on oh, I can imagine, massively so, yeah. I didn't mention the brand, but you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, Tonight, that might be a wrap. But seriously, tonight, you need to thank these guys because they have been... We've been doing this for how long, Manu? Like, oh, maybe like a year or like... Um, no, yeah, no, it's been, it's been a year. Yeah, it's been just a year. Yeah, and tonight's audience um, it, were the biggest up, huh? yeah. and the best and seriously, the most engaged audience yeah. we've had. So No, I, do, I, I really do appreciate it. I mean, I, I do this for fun, but I also do this to, uh, to teach you things, uh, not complicated things, but... To show you little tricks of the tribe that, uh, to make delicious food with only few few ingredients. I mean, tonight we've got shell, garlic, ham, mushrooms, and the sauce, five, and the pastry, six ingredients, and I made a meal in thirty minutes basically. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's pleasurable, but I, I like I like to share what I know. I like to share uh, good food with you, and uh, too many more. Bon appetit and bonsoir. <laughs>